From Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida, this is Poker Night in America. Hello and welcome to Poker Night in America. I'm Chris Hansen alongside Joe Stapleton. Tonight we're at Seminole Hard Rock in sunny Hollywood, Florida. On tonight's table we play 100-200 with an optional straddle and something tells me that these players have been stretching out the hip flexors. Five of our seven players have bought in for 50,000 except for a player who's known as GI. Well, he's in for 110. And of course, we have the Carson Daly of YouTube poker. It's Doug Polk who brings 200,000 to the table. So let's get after it. Blinds tonight are 100 and 200. That means the optional under the gun straddle is 400. Oh, the double straddle. Oh. Polk's in for 400. Calderero's in for 800. Means he will be last to act pre flop. So the good news for the people not in the straddle is that it's easy to get away from a lot of these hands. A raise from Hutter to 3,000 with King Queen. Opening raise to $3,000. Hulk calls 2,600 with Ace-9. And Calderaro has to fold his straddle. He's out. All right, so here we go. Heads up with Hutter and Polk. The flop is 8-4 King. Very good flop for King Queen. And here we go with 3,500 the bet. Most hands that have you beat here, like King Four and Eight Four, they would have folded pre-flop. Other hands that have you beat, like Ace King or Pocket Kings, would have three bet you pre-flop. It's a very safe board for King Queen. Call from Polk. Oh come on! No. All that stuff that Joe just said like 30 seconds ago, disregarded, because Polk just turned the ace. Barry justifiably checks this ace on the turn. Doug is definitely going to start value betting at some point in this hand. Well, maybe it's going to be on the river. Another four comes on the river. Hutter is probably going to be begging and pleading for a check check here. There's one half of the scenario, but I don't think Polk is going to let him off that easy. I think Doug's going to put Barry on exactly a king. And how good his king might be will be exactly tied to how much money he's about to bet. Thinking, well, if he's got a good king, he might call 11-5. But if he's got a bad king, he's not going to call, and I win anyway. Well, it would take a good king probably to raise pre-flop. Hutter did not have much money in this pot to begin with. Remember, he was just in for the 200. He made it 3,000 pre-flop. So he's going to have a good king most of the time. Probably not ace king. Doug's banking on that. Ace. Pays off the 11-5. Ugh. If Barry ends up losing his mind, losing to Doug Polk like that, he might end up on Hutter Island. Huh? Remember that one? Uh, the knowledge of things that don't matter that you have is ridiculous. There you go. All right, we're straddling once again with Frank Casella. I know. <laughs> now it's just something that goes back to the video that he was watching. Uh -huh. Doug's finding all the embarrassing shit on the internet. Polk makes it 1,200. We get a call from Avi Friedman. And yes, his name is G.I. If you've just been joining us, he, uh, yeah, yeah. he's mysterious, like G.I. Like, <laughs> what, what, what does that stand for? You have to count, like, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I found that clip. I swore it was like a joke. What's amazing is that Doug thinks what he says are jokes. Look at this. A couple of players hit the flush. One of them's got the nut flush. Another ridiculous cooler here on Poker Night in America. More ridiculous coolers than the Igloo Outlet store. It was definitely something to say. I mean, I enjoyed it. I'm glad you said it. <laughs> so the two flushes have found each other here going to the turn. And the better flush checks. The inferior flush bets 3,800. Freeman's got the nut flush with the redraw to the royal flush. It's now 12,000. I believe Frank Casella was at least married at some point, if not currently, so this won't be the first time he is going to drop five figures on some diamonds. I'm all in. I call. 
Okay, well, there we go. Up to $66,000 now in the pot. And Casella drawing deed. We can do a river and an ocean. A river <laughs> and an ocean. No wonder they call diamonds ice, because this hand is a cooler. <laughs> Good night, everybody. We've still got a lot more show. Please don't leave, Joe. Ah, the Friedman. There's a reason why he's the CEO of Kentic, which brings a modern, scalable SAAS approach to terabit scale visibility and to network availability, efficiency, attacks, and performance. Give us money. Download our new Poker Night in America app for free so you and your friends can have your very own Poker Night. Also available on Facebook Instant Games. Welcome back to Poker Night in oh, America. Oh, look! A quadruple straddle to 3,200. Short stack, so I'm thinking, what am I wanting to see here? <laughs> I'm just gonna shove, I'm just gonna gamble. <laughs> Is this a straddle? No, I just, <laughs> is that open? Oh. I did look. <laughs> just your classic one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. It's normal. This is this is how it's like when I play. How much is that? Frank's got aces. That's good, but he doesn't have that many chips. That's bad. I mean, even shoving with twelve k, even if you just pick up all the straddles and the blinds, that's a that's a great win. There's a lot of money in this pot. That's good, but there's also a lot of people in this hand who don't like folding preflop. That's bad. <laughs> Dog pull going nowhere. He's in with King Queen. Calderero's out. Looks like King Kaus has literally just come back from the bank. And what about GI? He's a fella that don't like to fold either. I think you're a hundred off. Oh, he's got too much. Yeah. All right, so Casella's got all the money in. We will have a side pot that could develop between Polk and GI. What a dream scenario for Casella. He is a near statistical lock to win this hand. 1% equity for each of his opponents. That straddle won't do much for the game, does it? <laughs> oh, oh, my. Oh, uh, oh I don't. Oh, gee. What is the verbal equivalent of mashing the keyboard? That's what I want to do right now. How does that happen? GI's bet $40,000 on this flop. No way Doug can fold. We know there is no way that he and GI will not chop this pot as long as he doesn't fold. Doug calls. Main pot's got 41,000, side pot's got 80,000 in it. We've got, a, we've got a Lexus on the side. Yes. Holy. And GI has put all the chips in the middle. Doug's called. You're not good. There is almost a quarter of a million dollars in this pot. And Kissella just can't believe his luck. I mean, that's that's just, that's not supposed to happen. All right, here comes the river. It's a 10 of hearts. Kissella's out and Polk and GI will chop it up. And then this, this is chopped in half. Frank, you're, you're running great today, man. <laughs> you're doing great, you're doing great things. Hey everyone, just a quick reminder that we're running a contest through April in our app to win a seat on our show. One lucky winner gets to join us in Pittsburgh on May 20th at the Rivers Casino. So drop what you're doing, download the app, and register for your chance to win today. Already getting your stack ready, let's just All right, we're playing some 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. Classic game, guys, classic. <laughs> And the funny thing is, there's only. I wish people. I could call. Double check. By the way, the stake's just uh, 32x. <laughs> this is a good hand to run good in. This, if you run good here, you probably don't have to pick up anything else for the rest of the session. <laughs> oh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow. Big action. Think probably, about this. Probably can't call you. Got like 70 ish, 80. <laughs> Frank? Frank? Uh, let's see, yeah. I'm all in. Now, this is poker. This is <laughs> sweet. This is poker. Will this make YouTube? This is awesome. If he has aces or kings, it's gonna be so if he tilting. Calls, it'll make <laughs> Why do you got queens? Sure. Yeah, I got queens. <laughs> yeah, I got queens. Yeah, if you got jacks, I just let him go. 
it's, it's pretty close to a call. It's pretty close to a call. Halfway right now, halfway is pretty close to a call already. Uh -oh. Are we going to see the first, call, first card? The first card, yeah. Oh, get the sweat gun. <laughs> oh, the same card. I peeled twice. Well, I hope it was. Oh. If not, I'm snap calling. I'm not slow rolling. I got scared there. Uh, <laughs> I call. I call. Oh, oh, Oh my god, what? Oh my god, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Is that suited? Calderero is 60% favorite to double up through Doug Polk. Oh my god. All right, here we go. The flop is 4, 10, queen. What? I think it's more drama. Oh, the devastation's looming. The devastation's right around the corner. 76% <laughs> chance now that Doug felt Calderero. Make that 85%. Wow. Jack, Daddy-o. This is such a big pocket. Jacket, jacket. No jack. Wow. Domination, reversation, Doug Polk. Nice hand, Doug. Thanks, Frank. I played it really skillfully. I masterfully maneuvered my way I into that 10. me at the cage. I'm not sure if it's a 9-5-4 number. That's why Doug Kardashian's the best. <laughs> Damn. That was awesome. Several straddles again. Oh, shit. I have chips down here. Free chips. Dream on it. Doug Polk is finding chips all over the place. He's lost them inside of the stack. How does that happen? It's like when you go to the beach, he's going to shower, and they're just going to fall out. Come on. All right, Barry Hutter shoving on Doug Polk now. <laughs> wow. How much is it? People just losing their minds here on Poker Night in America. Wow. Could I run worse? Was that a real <laughs> tank? Yeah. You don't know what I would say what I had after hand. I think I would just time bank there for no, no reason. No, 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 but I mean, like, I don't know. No, I'll, say what, I'll, say, I'll say what I had. Yeah, no, I understand. Friedman calls with a suited ace. And it's a worse hand than Doug folded. What? Again, people have lost their minds here on Poker Night in America. I guess Friedman only had 27-4 behind. You can do it again. You're going once or twice, I don't care. That's twice. Twice is good. Two, Two full boards. All right, so here we go. Let's see the flop. It's 7-3 seven, jack. 7 and a jack. Good flop. All right, well. King on the turn means Friedman is drawing dead. And the dominating hand holds, but they are running it twice. One more board for the other half of the pot. 10-10 king. Second flop. Gut shot. Things are just not going Friedman's way here. There was the seven. Oh! Seven on both boards. <laughs> <laughs> Could've got half your 800 back. If you can get angry about- Friedman's gonna lose it all. If you can get angry about running bad here, because I hit my seven on the second run, you can get angry about anything. <laughs> 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 Legitimately anything. <laughs> wow. These guys are playing like the world is ending, and I absolutely love it. The world is ending, Chris, moment by moment. Generation by generation, the world is ending. But yeah, this table is absolutely amazing. Five stars that, much like the sun, will eventually die out. Welcome back to the greatest show on earth. Family Double Dare? No, oh, our show, Joe, this one. You know, with the huge pots and the massive straddles, this show. I feel like your family would totally be on Family Double Dare. If you like big pots, you are in the right location here as Poker Night in America is uh, a big game going on tonight. Normally 25.50, but tonight 100, 200. Okay, 20K yellow, 10K um, purple, and 5K black. Casella with pocket sevens, and he's gonna look to call behind GI who called with King Queen. Hutter got it all started with a six. <laughs> wow, it's more like Frank Cassetta. Three sevens. You've been waiting for that like all night, haven't you? Would you believe I just came up with it in the moment? No. You're right. So GI led at this flop with King High. Cassetta calls with his set, Hutter's out. Even though he had a gut shot. 
queen on the turn that does give GI a pair, but it doesn't matter. He's drawing dead. And he's betting. Oh, uh, sure. There's the raise from Casella. When Frank stacks him here, I bet he's gonna be so salty we can start calling him MSGI. You would have been okay with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you would. GI calls. His stack is shrinking as every card comes out. And here's a three of hearts on the river, and GI's first. At least it wasn't a king or a queen. <laughs> he checks. Actions on Casella. By the way, I just want you to know, like, I'm I'm in here gambling and drinking and like, you know, I'm trying to like I love it. Sometimes, though, when stakes get that big, and people get stacked. And with top pair, GI pays it off. This week at the Seminole Hard Rock, GI's been set over setted twice. Now it's a set against top pair. Guy's not exactly running hot, although he could learn to find the fold button once in a while. <laughs> Welcome to Poker Night. <laughs> what, are we all going to Council Oak? It's That's where they're, they're bringing the food in here. So they That's just possible I've had one. Just to give them enough time Close. to get it here by seven. All know. right, here we go. Doug Polk raises with eight five of clubs. Calderero re-raises to two K. He gets a call from Friedman. Casella's ace is suited up, so he looks like he's calling. All right, you guys. You, you got you got a customer. I'm, I'm I'm always good for the two. Not always. Here I am. Doug calling with the back to the future hand. Heavy. Deuce, five, four, a couple of spades is the flop. Top pair for two players, Polk and Calderero. Calderero's got Polk out kicked. Straight draw for Casella. Do the uh, lobster bisque, the shrimp cocktail. You buying for 50? 50? 50 even, right here. Lobster bisque and shrimp cocktail? That's aggressive sea play there. He is very shellfish. I mean, I gave her, I tipped her well for we'll a bottle sure. of water. We'll make sure, we'll so, yeah. make sure. I gave the girl a bunch last I, night. Just yeah, yeah, they make them you gave her, you gave her way day. too much last night. Look at that, three on the turn. Would have given Casella the straight, but he's folded on the flop. And it's Calderero who's got one now. Doug's gonna try to bluff this as he often does on four cards straight and flush boards, but gets snapped off immediately by Calderero. I'm less interested in poker than I am more interested in the food orderings. Yeah, I want some biscuit in here. Should we just start a TV show where we do nothing but order food? I feel like the market's cornered on that, but I'm willing to try it. All right, we continue the poker here at Seminole Hard Rock, South Florida. King Jack for Kane Callis. Race. I'd expect nothing less. The man has lobster bisque and a shrimp cocktail coming for his appetizer. Did a whole five dimes? Whole thing. Five dimes. One little chip. Calderero. More of a fan of the sleeper straddle and also apparently sleeping in a tanning bed. It's South Florida. The sun never stops shining here. Something tells me it doesn't exactly work outdoors. GI calls. So we got 11,500 in the pot, heads up, going to the flop. Queen nine versus King Jack. Top pair for Callus. Second pair for Queen nine. Seventy-five hundred the bet from Callus. Well, there's not a whole lot of chips in front of GI. Those are five K chips. Looks like he's got about fifty K left behind still. Compared to the rest of the table, though, no, not a ton of chips. Eight of diamonds is the turn. Not a great card for either player. They both check, so here comes the river. Another eight. So neither player improves, but the board doesn't get much worse for either player. 
Kane's trying to decide how thin this spot is for value. Me, personally, I like a nice, thin, shaved piece of value bet. There's nowhere <laughs> for the flavor to hide. 18,000 is the bet from Callis. And I gotta give Kane Callis a lot of credit. He always seems to know exactly where he's at in the hand. It's like he has hand GPS. And gets the call from GI, wins a nice solid pot with just top pair, $62,500, getting shipped to K squared. And it looks like GI is just disgusted with life in general right now. Or he's just stretching his legs. Yeah, there's the wave. Uh, we say goodbye to GI. Okay, disgusted with life. Bye. Oof, rough couple of hands there for GI, who runs into a set and top pair. I don't think he's gonna be back tonight, but we will right after this. Download our new Poker Night in America app for free so you and your friends can have your very own Poker Night. Also available on Facebook Instant Games. Welcome back to the wildest game of Texas Hold'em outside of Macau. Joe, what do you see? I see that GI took a beat down for over 73,000, as did Avi Friedman, who is in the hole over 49K. Frank the Tank Casella is hurting as well, but he'll be fine. As for the luckier ones, James Calderero is up almost 16,000, and Barry Hutter is currently doubling that. And lastly, Doug Polk continues to run purer than Doug Polk. Make sure you tune in next time, because this table ain't breaking yet. Hey, quit writing mean stuff in the comments, guys. I'm just kidding. Everything you write helps us. It's called engagement. Go to town. Also, like and subscribe, but you'll write the mean stuff too. It's all good. Joe Stapleton, I'm Chris Hansen, and for everyone here at Poker Night in America, thanks for watching.